Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Oh, hi. Um, this is a review for the WBC Heavyweight uh, World Championship fight between, uh, uh, who was it between? Vitaly Klitschko and Shannon Briggs. Um, fight was in Germany. <coughs> Another Klitschko fight, and um, I'll explain the fight to you now, really. Um, you know, some of my videos, so yeah, I did get it wrong. I said, I don't think Shannon Briggs is ranked inside the top 10, and someone pointed out it was number 8 in the WBC. So I uh, appreciate that. But anyway, um, a lot of people were saying they don't understand why Shannon Briggs got this shot compared to a lot of people. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I actually thought he may have a bit of a chance, to be honest with you, with this, because, you know, he is an old-fashioned American fighter who may have given the Klitschko's a chance. Now, in my prediction, I actually said that I think he'll start off very quickly. And when it comes to the fight, it's not the case. And i got a question that i like to ask some American boxing fans as well, that i like to get your input on, because I've noticed a trend in this. But anyway, let's go into the fight. First of all, the press conference saw fireworks, and I thought Briggs was giving it all that, you know, but none of the Klitschko's really give all that, to be honest with you. I mean, they do it a little bit with David Hay, but I think it's because they have to. And, um, so the tie didn't really join us. I was expecting Briggs, you know, to get involved, get ruffled up. I thought it would come out quickly. He didn't go out quickly at all. He was very conservative. And throughout the whole fight, I personally thought that, um, Shannon Briggs was there on target practice for Vitaly Klitschko. You know, I mean, um, it's like you know, when the bell, when the first bell went, by an English referee as well, so that was great. Um, so when the fight first commenced, straight away, Vitaly starts his combinations. He doesn't jab as much as his brother Vitaly, but, you know, he does get the jab gun, but he throws a mean combination. And, so the combination was it was always the left and then the overhand right. Now Briggs concentrate on the body. I'm just giving little more taps. You can see there wasn't they weren't really affecting Vitali in that way. And Vitali was stepping forward and Briggs defence is just Oh, it was it was embarrassing. I mean the amount of time I've never seen the amount of overhand rights thrown by a fighter hit the target so many times. I reckon he missed two all fight for Tyler Klitschko. You know, it was a demolition, guys. You know, what you were expecting, really. I think everyone was expecting it. The only surprise for the fight was the last 12 rounds. You know, um, Briggs didn't do anything, really. It was just easy work for Klitschko. You know, first six rounds, nothing really special happened, just Briggs was get, getting tagged with the jab and then the overhand right. And Briggs showed no real invention, you know. It was obvious that he was. He showed his age a lot, I found in the fight. He was just plodding forward. Almost looked like he was just there as target practice, you know. Uh, the fence down there, come and hit me. You know what I mean? It was a bit, um, a bit embarrassing on that front, really. Everything started to kick off in the seventh round. Klitschko having two or three really strong flurries, and to be honest with you, uh, I've got my notepad here. Um, to be honest with you, I thought Briggs was going to go at the end of the seventh. He looked like he was teetering, and the bell saved him. And I'll tell you what, it was started looking embarrassing at that front. You know, he looked like he was disarray going into his corner, um, and then in the eighth was the normal thing. The ninth, we have another flourish of, you know, Klitschko shots, but perhaps wasn't so bad. However, uh, when the bell goes, you look at Briggs, and he looks absolutely fucked. You know, it just it just doesn't look good for him. You know, it looks like he can't see the shots where they're coming from. His nose is starting to bleed. His eyes are, you can see are starting to swell. Uh, I watched this on stream, by the way. You know, um... So, you see all these things happening, and you just think this fight's got to be over. So then, but round 10 was sickening for me. 
you know, um, I start. Same with Vladimir, what Samuel Peter, I started to feel sorry for Shannon Briggs. I just thought it was sickening. The amount of overhand rights and jabs he took. At uh, one stage, I actually thought Klitschko didn't want it, wasn't interested in knocking out, just punishing him. Just absolutely battering him. And uh, Briggs was bouncing off the ropes. He looked like he'd had no energy left. And um, that was just the way the fight goes. The only real high note for Briggs was the first real shot I noticed he caused Klitschko problems. And that was when he got a stiff right as a counter. You know, that's the only shot of note that Briggs actually threw, which is very really disappointing. I'm surprised he did last for 12 rounds, so I suppose I've got to give out to him there. But where's this Shannon Briggs who was then? Oh, he's going to get, we're going to knock him out early, and the trainer said there's no way that Klitschko could. You can't see how Klitschko was going to beat Briggs. Well, it was all baloney, if you ask me. It was all, you know, poor, not a good sight at all. Now the question I want to ask is, I thought this might be a difference that Briggs is fighting when the clutch goes because may show no mercy. Now I noticed that Roy um, that uh, Roy Jones Jr. was interested in going to heavyweight, but Arthur uh, Hopkins is interested in going to heavyweight, and Antonio Tarver just had a heavyweight fight last night. But so obviously the Americans are yearning out for an American heavyweight. I thought Shannon Briggs would at least try and take the fight and give what the American fans want. American fans, I got questions for you. Why is it your the American fighters always look decent when they're and uh, flashy? Um, Chris Ariola, I remember watching his early fights, seeing flurrying punches. You know, a bit out of shape, but flurrying punches. Basic Klitschko's did nothing. Same with Chambers did nothing. Um, Johnson recently did nothing. Um, Briggs did nothing. It's like they always go into their own shell. So if anyone's got any thoughts on why they think this is, I'd be really intrigued to know. You know, um, when it comes to the coach goes, I'm really interested to see when a a fast heavyweight gets into the mix. David, hey! But will that ever happen? Um, you can't have Adamus fighting Derek Chisora, and Derek Chisora, I think, is an exciting prospect. Still, only 14 fights he's had, so he's quite quick, so maybe, just maybe, he might cause some problems, but I don't know. Anyway, unanimous decision. Klitschko won all the rounds. He had, I think he won all the rounds. That's the fight. Um, WBC champion. Who's going to step up to the Klitschko's next? Your guess guys as good as mine because I have no idea unless um, unless David Hay does it. I can't see. Well, I've actually, I said Povetkin. Povetkin is what I like to see have a go at it. But you know, I heard that they might bring Jean Mark Mormek uh, uh, in the former of cruiserweight who David Hay beat. I heard that he might be foot facing them, which uh, it just doesn't interest me anymore. You know, I feel sorry for the coach because they're struggling for a fight. Anyway. That's the review. Hope you enjoy it. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought of the fight. Till next time, peace and love, and I'll catch you in a bit.